90-year-old retired dairy farmer Tony Bergen is a well-known inventor based in South County Offaly. And since COVID-19 restrictions came into force, he has been cocooning at home. But now, every evening after his tea, he calls his new friend from the fields for his supper. He called me. Here, he called me. Named after the virus that forged their relationship, Tony now feeds this wild fox daily, and the relationship has developed to the point that the fox feeds from Tony's knees. I, uh, I get great enjoyment out of this thing. I'd, I'd be looking forward to every evening. It's fascinating to study him. I, I, I'm thrilled to be it, that it did happen. Ma, ma. Near Shannon Harbour, farmer Martin Guinan is raising two orphaned fox cubs. He has been feeding them three times daily for the past two months. Oh. Hello. People have kind of slowed down. They've kind of returned more to the country, you know, within their own distance, the 2 km's or the 5 km's, and they've noticed nature more. They have more time, where before, where before maybe I wouldn't have time even to notice them or know they were here, or even time to come down and feed them. It's not known how many foxes there are in Ireland, but their numbers are estimated to be in the region of 200,000. They're Ireland's only wild dog. And as opportunistic hunters, they will quickly adapt to any new source of food. And in these parts, wild foxes have been lucky and have taken advantage of the boredom that would otherwise have been associated with COVID-19 lockdown. Tomaso Manin, RT News in County Offaly.